Ciao ragazzi da Torino, Italia. Hello everyone from Torino, or Turin in English, a city up in the Piedmont region of northwestern Italy, not too far from the border of France. If you see on the map, it's not too far from the western arc of the Alps that separates Italy and France. Just arrived here not too long ago at the Porta Nuova train station in the center of town here from Milan, which is about one to two hours east of here, depending on which train you take. And although Turin is not as well known as Milan and not quite as big, it is very much one of Italy's major cities. I figured since I didn't see Turin last time I was in the area, I figured I'd come here and see it this time. Since I arrived in the middle of the afternoon in Italy, that means that most of the places to eat are closed for now between the lunch and the dinner period. But there is one place for some really good, simple food to hold us over till dinner that's open. And I'm gonna walk up to it here. It's called La Piadineria. Uh, if you remember from the Bologna video, I tried a piadina. <laughs> So a nice simple little late lunch from La Piadineria. If you remember, I actually had one of those little traditional snacks for lunch when I was in Bologna last year. And uh, of course you could click up above if you want to see that vlog. But like it was then, it was also really great here too. So now we are ready to kind of walk around and explore around the center of this really cool looking Italian city. Porta Nuova train station is actually a bit of a mall too, or at least it kind of looks like it. Between the street and the trains you have shops and you have food. Milano Centrale is kind of like that as well. Of course bigger because Milan is bigger than Turin, but still, you know, you kind of get the sense that you're in a mall and then if you keep going, oh right, this is actually a train station. So anyway, I thought that was interesting to point that out. Let's continue walking around and seeing what's around here in Turin. Piazza San Carlo, this is the main city square here in Turin. One of the things that the city is known for is Baroque architecture and one great place to see an example of that is here in the Piazza San Carlo because the piazza here is ringed by 17th century Baroque style buildings. Via Roma is basically the main road to follow if you want to take a walk through the center of Torino because you can start at Porta Nuova station and walk north. You'll end up through Piazza San Carlo. Then it becomes a pedestrian walk, which I'm not sure if that's just because it's a holiday weekend this weekend that I'm here filming this, the Labor Day holiday weekend in the beginning of May in Italy and in most of Europe. Lots of street art, street performances, people and families out and about because it's a holiday and because it's a nice spring day. The end of Via Roma then terminates up here at Piazza Castello, a smaller but still nice piazza to see just up the street from the bigger piazza, which is the Piazza San Carlo.
walking around the Giardini Reali and they have a kind of an interesting system of letting everybody know that the park is closed. This uh, sort of beeping alarm type of thing with no like verbal announcement or anything. It just kind of started very slowly and then started continuously going and now it's going in some kind of weird tempo and since it kept on going and because it's kind of later in the day I assume it meant that it's closing so I guess so because everybody's kind of leaving but definitely definitely an interesting system for getting rid of everybody. Now let's walk down to the river area because the Po River, which is the main river that goes through northern Italy, does go by Torino as well. And it is nice to see, or at least it should be. Usually when rivers go by cities, especially in cities like this, it's supposed to look nice. So let's go ahead and see and let's not get run over by the police of all people. <laughs> um, let's go see what that looks like and then um, find something to eat and then call it an evening. And I'll show you guys where I'm staying here in Torino because it is an interesting place I found on Airbnb. Right in the city center, a few minutes walk from the Porta Nuova station. It is at the top of this building here, which has kind of an interesting look to the stairway here. It's sort of outdoors, it's open air, and you come up to the top here, and here is the door. As you can see, it is a nice, efficient little attic room. I mean, it's basically a tiny little studio. You've got your kitchen over here with just very basic things, a little table, window with, a, I mean, not too much of a view, but you know, okay, you're not staying here for the views. I mean, you see like the back of the other buildings over here, but since you're a little higher up, you get a little more air and you can kind of see the sky a little bit. But then here you have the bed, which um, it's nice and big, and it is actually not too bad in terms of its, uh, you know, the way the mattress looks here. But um, the only the only thing that is kind of weird is the way the roof kind of slopes like that down there. So if you're tall or if you're here with someone else that you're sleeping with and they're sleeping on the inner part of this bed, just be prepared for a bit of an awkward. Uh, you know, situation if uh, the person sleeping on the inside has to get up. Um, but, you know, other than that, though, it is, um, you know, not uh, not too bad. And also you have a little bathroom here as well, which, you know, okay, it has your basic needs covered. Um, shower here, which, uh, you know, there's like a lot of the typical showers here. It actually also has a shower head, a big, a big one and a small. Let's head back out and continue exploring this city in the Piedmont region of Northern Italy. What a nice way to finish off this first day here in Torino. A nice, simple pizza from Pizzeria Vittorio, not too far from the river here in Torino. Of course, I'll leave a link below for this as well so that if you're here in Torino and want something simple but delicious and with a bit of a local style as well, it's a pizza place that has pizzas of all sorts, not just ones that are from this region of Italy, but I did choose one that had a bit of a local style to it. It had some kind of red onion sauce underneath it. It had mozzarella on it and it also had a type of sausage on it which was like a local style sausage. Really good though. Uh, and also a local style beer as well which was a very nice and smooth blonde beer. I'm basically just gonna call it a day for now. 